up guys this is alex from sornex here everything's a little bit crazy right now going around the nation with all the coronavirus and all this stuff getting shut down for us and we can't get into the gym to do what we actually love to do and bang weights right right now though i think what the big thing that we can't forget about is being able to do all those simple things and use this time to make sure that we get guys underneath that gpp or the general physical preparedness so that when they do come back here in a couple of weeks we know exactly where they're at and what we can handle in the weight room when they get back in. Um, we all know the basics, right? Biometrics, body weight exercises. But I'm gonna give you a few more things that we can kind of hone in on that can kind of help us out with that GPP style. Let's not forget about isometrics, okay? Anything from a wall to the floor to the back of a truck or a car, be able to use those things pushing against, whether you're sitting back against it, pushing into it, pushing against the ground, holding ourselves in isometrics. Doing that stuff will get these guys ready for that general physical preparedness time when they do come back that we know that the tendons are ready so that we know nothing's gonna get injured on the, on the way out. Other things besides the isometrics, you can get into, um, go to a local tire shop or anything and basically be using uh, a small tire for any type of throws overhead, getting that triple extension, still working those same movement patterns that we would in the weight room but now we're just using a tire. Um, same thing, you can use that to use for slams or throws. Um, those are just very cheap, free, inexpensive things to be able to use um, while we're still on this uh, breakaway from the college or, or high school area. All right guys, so my first one, let's not forget again about those isometrics, right? Just go ahead and get into just a split squat iso. Tell the guys or anybody that you're training, right? They can go from hold it as long as possible hold it for 30 seconds, switch legs, hold it for 60 seconds, switch legs, but have them get into this position, hold that ISO, and making sure that they're still working proper mechanics and everything so that when they come back, they're ready to get into this position in the weight room with you, okay? Other ones from this, you can stand up using a wall, pushing against the wall. He's gonna get almost in like a split stance like he's gonna sprint out of, right? And pushing against the wall. Now we're getting in the shoulders into it. He can still get into his core here and everything and then work it all the way down to his ankles, okay? And then same thing, switching sides, hold that for 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 60 seconds, or even longer if you got guys that are able to do that, okay? Switching into that, you can go all the way just sitting down against the wall, just basic old school type training, right? Just sitting against the wall, still getting the tendons to stay healthy while we're in this time away from home where we can actually train with our actual coaches, right? Now we can do this safe and efficiently. Oh, so next one, okay? Basic tire, go down to your local auto shop. You're probably gonna find one of these things for free. That's an old one, okay? Now we're working that triple extension, right? Now we can get this guy into a good position, okay? Grabbing the tire, still flipping up overhead, getting out of the way, still getting really good work in. All right, so next one, guys, okay? Now working with all of our rotational athletes, right? Go ahead, take the tire side slams into the wall there okay you switch sides in go from here bringing it from the side still getting that rotational exercise in and then the old school back behind go side to side all right guys other things to do with the tire as well obviously throws right if they don't have med balls or anything like that sandbags to throw the tire can come into that play as well guys also now if you don't have a wall and you have a truck a jeep anything that doesn't have or it has a nice exposed bumper now we can get into other isometric work where now you're going to be pulling against that don't be denting mom's car okay make sure it's a proper tool to be able to use front and backwards this way pulling into that iso hitting a good solid couple of seconds pulling on that same thing with the pushes then you can go into it just like this you do on the wall but push into the truck Using a couple of seconds there, good switching legs, pushing again. Go ahead, get in the side, put your shoulder right in here. Going into the shoulder, now getting into a lateral position this way. Make sure you got good shoes on, good gripping, pushing in, and using that isometric again against the car. Make sure the emergency brakes on, ready to go with that. All right, now as you can see, using the uh, a car now, you can use this in a different scenario where now having the athlete actually maximum load against pushing the car while they're moving through this. Somebody's driving the car, making sure that if you got to stop at any point, you can. Athlete can switch around, push forwards or backwards. Good, good reps. 
But hey guys, that's just a little bit of what we got here at Sornex. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that challenge out to coaches right now as we're just kind of sitting here looking for um, how to train our athletes when they're not sitting here with us in our gyms. Um, go ahead, take the time right now, throw it in the comments below or post your own videos and tag us on uh, anything that you've come up with for your athletes to do outside of, um, of your gym.